Hi everyone, let's go over my micro bullish and bearish elite wave scenarios on Bitcoin where we are going to dissect this section of the chart over here with many different Elliott wave scenarios and based on these scenarios we will then get to the probabilities of a continuation to the upside or a bounce and continuation to the downside. Now based on the previous video when we had the bounce on the target box over here probabilities were higher for a bit of a move towards the upside but let's see if it can continue that or if the probabilities are higher for a move down and we start with the first scenario micro bearish scenario number one where we're then looking for a wave one two one two and eventually you want to see a big impulsive move to the downside now in this particular scenario the blue count is a higher degree count so we have one two three four five and inside wave three we have the white count one two and then three four five to finish wave three however that means that the white count is a lower degree count compared to the blue count and this wave 2 is very very long compared to a very short higher degree wave 2 which is not what you want to see very low probabilities for that scenario second more bearish scenario by the way the reason they are bearish is because this is then an impulse so you would expect at least another move down and then an ABC or a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so the second bearish scenario being an impulse is then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 the problem here is that the sub degree count of wave three is then one two three four five overlap between one and four not allowed in a normal impulsive structure and inside a wave three we are looking for a normal impulsive structure like this so this is not what you want to see invalidates that scenario third scenario is that we then have a one two three four and an extended fifth to the downside where inside this wave five we are then looking for a one, two, three, four, and then eventually a wave five to the downside, hindered in target box, and then we would be looking for a bounce to the upside, where we have some interesting resistance. The daily here at 28k, daily naked point of control, 28.3, for then a return to the downside. Now, in this particular scenario, we also have overlap between the low of one over here and the high of this potential wave four, and then a one, two, three, four, five, which is also what you don't want to see. Now, it could be possible that we're then thinking about an expanding diagonal for wave five something like this but that is very very rare and therefore initially it's never preferred if we then go to the more bullish scenarios we have to look for this structure over here to be part of a correction and then if we can make this a correction we can expect continuation so in this particular scenario we're looking then for a W, X, Y, double zigzag, A, B, C, correction, A, B, C. The problem is that then Y should have been the low and we want to look for upside over here. So the impulse should have started here, one, two, three, four, five. But as you can see, that's not the case because this low has been taken here on the right and now price is moving to the upside. So this is invalidated. Second scenario is then a W, X, Y, X, Z. But in a W, X, Y, X, Z, wave W and wave Y are not allowed to be zigzags. So there's only one zigzag zigzag allowed in wave w y or wave z which then invalidates this scenario as w and y are the same if we go to this third scenario we're then looking for a wave a b and then a wave c so we have an expanding flat now this wave b over here hit the common target for a wave b being the 1.236 to the 1.38 taken from the high to the low of wave a but then we have this very very long c to the downside first of all it's incredibly long in time compared to a and b and it's also very 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 extended to the 4.618 now just for your perspective the most common target for wave c is the 1.618 not the 4.618 and if we do get a bit of an extension of a wave c then the 2.618 is the next like target which is rare so a 4.618 extension together with the time it took for this wave c compared to a and b gives low probabilities to this scenario and then we have a potential a b c one two three four five wave move to the downside three wave correction and then over here another potential either one two three four uh sorry one two three four five or one two three four five ending over here with some sort of a ending diagonal for wave C. And this at the moment does work. So an ABC over here does work with then a ending diagonal in this wave C for then this push towards the upside. That's interesting. So is this structure most likely corrective or impulsive? 
based on the analysis that we've just done with all the different options and the invalidations of the different scenarios the problem with the impulses is the overlap or the time here it's the time of this wave 2 compared to the higher degree wave 2 here it is the overlap between 1 and 4 subdegree count of 3 and in this impulses scenario it's also the overlap between the low over here of wave 1 and the high of this wave 4, which is also what you don't want to see, which increases the probabilities that this structure to the downside is corrective, where this ABC structure is very, very interesting indeed. Now, if we look at the CVD divergences, then we have locally over here bullish CVD already played out then we encountered some bearish CVD divergences over here first of all now these played out as price moved to the downside and then with a little bit of a bounce we created more bearish CVD divergences and the update section will know I was a little bit confused here for a short second note for self this is a second CVD divergence with the same pivot high over here lower probabilities than of this CVD divergence playing out if I actually go to the chart and show you this go to the five minute over here then you can also see that over here we had a lower high on price zoom in zoom in zoom in we had a lower high on price but you can see on yellow over here a higher high on the cvd that was the first divergence with this high played out price moving back up creating a second divergence with the same pivot high lowering the probabilities of that one playing out but also we then started to create bullish cvd divergences over here so we had a higher low in price we had a lower low on the cvd bullish cvd divergence which played out very very quickly very soon after as after a few candles five minute candles we took this local high over here which then neutralizes the cvds again because the bullish one played out however so far it was a sign of what was to come as we push towards the upside took this high and are now moving to the upside and something that is important to realize to be at least aware of is this bullish cvd divergence on the one hour so if i go to the one hour chart and I zoom out then what you see on yellow is a bullish CVD divergence between the low over here of the yellow line and the lows of the yellow line over here and if I use my horizontal cursor line and I drop down here then you can look to the right side now that we have a bullish CVD divergence higher low in price lower low on the CVD now preferably and most importantly you use CVD on the right side of a new high or a new low. So CVDs on this side of the chart are more important than this CVD where you have a pivot on the left of the recent high and on the right of the recent high. So all the CVDs here will have priority over this one. However, it is at least good to be aware of this bullish CVD divergence if price continues to the upside because it might continue because the target is this high so it might push through resistance take this high where then the target box which is very attractive is between 29.1k and 29.4k which also means that over here for the daily and the daily naked point of control these two levels 28k 28.3k it's very very important to observe the reaction if we want to potentially enter short positions right stick to your plan your strategy your entry requirements because price might also of course continue to the upside but that depends on what we see here maybe there's bearish CVD divergences we don't know yet right that's up for like that, that time will tell so if price moves towards the upside observe reaction observe reaction if the reaction is not what we want to see then i will look towards the upside for 29.1 29.4k over here if things are interesting of course based on your plan and strategy we could look for a move towards the downside but of course in combination with the analysis of this structure where there's a higher probability it's corrective at the moment there is a possibility or higher probability that we might look for upside and this high even if we do this right there's still a probability higher probability we are eventually going to take this high based on this structure over here so let's be patient and observe the reaction here first now there is news later today 4 p.m central european time there is news make sure you trade safe as there might be some volatility and then finally if we go to the probabilities of the different scenarios well based on the analysis that we have done covering all the different rules different scenarios 
Corrective structures look better as explained. So looking for more upside to come. First of all, looking then for the daily and the daily naked point of control, if price can make it, of course, because it still has to move towards the upside over here. Observe the reaction for potential shorts or a continuation towards the long side. And if price can manage to take these levels, next area of interest, target box above. So that is basically my plan because I have to speak again today as well as tomorrow, by the way, but because I have to speak at an event once more, I won't be able to provide you with an update for 7 p.m. Central European time. So please make sure you trade safe and tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I will provide you with a new update. So I hope this video was helpful or valuable to you. Please check out the most recent educational video I've made about the best trading indicator you can use in my opinion. And for now, thanks for watching and subscribing and I'd like to see you at the next one. Bye bye.